My name is Nodar. I'm co-founder and CEO at Shadow. Originally from Georgia. Moved here to the UK when I was about 16. I finished my uni here, went to UCL. I did economics and then I did finance for my master's. I got introduced uh, to working with software developers at the Quant Hedge Fund, which is where I actually met all of my co-founders. Had a lot of developer oriented problems and that's actually like how it all started so initially it wasn't shuttle and it was a series of uh, pivots of course the first problem that we started solving was different it was still a developer tool and it was open source uh, but you know while building that the tool was called called synth um, while building that in rust we encountered a lot of the problems that we're solving with shuttle now um, ourselves and we saw a lot of our users uh, facing those problems, platform to build, run, and deploy applications, um, the, like the, you know the, the the dream platform basically, and and so that that became the kind of the the reason why we started Shuttle. It 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 kind of evolved into that, right? We got almost pulled into building that response from the community, like the 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 reviews and everything that we've been getting from people, the encouragement and the contributions have been amazing. And so that kind of culminated in us uh, raising uh, at, the, at the end of last year. And now we have a bit more resources to grow a team a little bit more and then do all the exciting things that we have planned for this year. We're working on our very own framework, which, uh, which we're going to be introducing quite soon. And that has some, some exciting things um, relating to WASM in it um, and still kind of enable people to to benefit from some of the cool things that that tech um, brings with it or so maybe you know they're, they're about to start some something new uh, maybe like um, a startup idea that they they want to do an mvp for because it'll save you a lot of time um instead of like dealing with infrastructure uh, for hours and hours you would kind of have everything built out quite quickly the overarching theme here is we we are now at a place where we have enough users to listen to, right? And to actually get pretty good signal of what we should be doing. So it's all with a frame of, um, you know, what do users want? What will make them happy? And, you know, how how do we build an amazing experience that um, people just want to tell everyone about? What we're doing tech, like from technology perspective is quite new. But in terms of business model has been done a few times and in different ways. And there's really like two main directions here is like usage based billing and developer, let's say SaaS fee, it sort of becomes this recurring billing model. This is something that we're still very much figuring out. Like it's like really a conversation we're having right now. Um, synergies between shuttle community and, and Rust communities that um, there's this kind of uh, focus on developer experience and like ergonomics and like how how quickly and how efficiently everything is done. So we see a lot of people like building Rust applications here and like showing them off and uh, actually you know getting advice on how to do things with Rust and so on. There are a lot of uh, learners and starters for sure. Um, we saw this. Um, well, you know, uh, you you must know about this like Stack Overflow survey that ranks Rust as. Um, the most loved developer language for I think seven years now in a row and um, so we see that impacts a lot of people's perception of Rust and like, even, even like people who don't know Rust yet and so more and more people want to learn Rust. Based on that we did a workshop which we called like uh, Rust for JavaScript developers. We had um, Stefan who is like a pretty famous in, in that uh, community um, on YouTube and he, he did like an amazing workshop with us um, sort of as a collaboration. Um, and that got really, really popular. We, we had like thousand registrations almost uh, like like almost instantly after after posting about this. A lot of the times when when you're like getting into building something with a language, um, the things that you end up struggling with are not actually like the, the language and the logic and so on, but like how to configure infrastructure, how to wire everything together and how to actually deploy that thing. Make Rust so easy to start with you know building applications with rest so so simple intuitive that actually the the learning curve is is not steeper anymore right the next thousand teams that go through the motions you and your co-founders did which is you know learning the ways building product and shipping something to users having done this the past these past years 
are there any you know lessons learned that you might be able to share one of the people who watches this will kind of hear it and be like okay you know i'll learn this finally yeah, uh, yeah. So, yeah it's like you know we we've done this solution in search of problems so like too many times to to not highlight that it's like the idea that you know the the problem um comes first and and then solution um so it shouldn't be the other way around before a few pivots that we also went through we were uh, we also made a mistake so yes i second that it's great advice and it hasn't been covered actually here before so thank you for uh nailing that message community can act as a funnel and just bring someone to you without you actually even doing anything our, our head of devrel right now even he's um let's say uh initially <laughs> just appeared at our community and started like following what we're doing and then eventually just sent us a deck saying like how excited he is about working with shuttle and you know why we should definitely hire him um and you know when you see that level of excitement from someone uh, for like about working with you it's very hard to resist and then it just sort of you know even though we weren't actually hiring for that position at that time um it it was just okay you know we we were going to create a role for for this person because um just makes makes a lot of sense any ways for you to be more proactive about it right and kind of um that's that's what we've tried to do there's the shuttle heroes program you mentioned which we just recently launched there's also like uh batches uh like shuttle batches which we so the first batch we actually ran in august um and we hired oddbjorn one of our uh, software engineers from that batch um so the way it was structured mm -hmm. is it was very much inspired by the experience uh, from YC, we had weekly events where we would all get together on a call, talk about shuttles plans, uh, talk about what projects we could be working on. And then um, we had office hours where our engineers would basically mentor and unblock other engineers. The outcome was, you know, pretty much amazing because we ended up putting Oddbjorn onto our paid open source program, which is basically like a contributor plus almost. It's like <laughs> when you've shown a lot of enthusiasm, you we we start paying you because, well, hey, you, you know, you you start to do so much work for Shuttle that it makes sense for us to also pay you. Um, and so initially he started kind of part-time because the program is part-time. And then we sort of rolled him into the, the full-time uh, position and now he's he's uh, the maintainer of shuttle repo uh, and uh, doing a pretty good job at it uh, so yeah we're super happy to have him so I, I would say community is an amazing funnel for sure for talent and we're still seeing now that as you said we're hiring um, by the way if anyone watching this is interested you can check that out on our website contributing it does not just mean code um, contributing can mean so many different things like contribute Contributing could mean um, engaging the community, helping to produce content, um, and many different things like helping organize events. And we've seen people contribute in many different ways. Also, we're we're quite excited actually to work with you guys to to have some bounty programs. The way I'm starting to see now um, our open source community is almost like extension of our team. All of it together comprises all of Shuttle building your company and startup becomes almost like a community building exercise mm -hmm. which i think is quite amazing as a like a, as a frame of mind in this game i think it's the most persistent right the the person who is the, the most resilient and i can like whatever happens can keep pushing and going towards the the vision and the goal um so i think like keep cultivating those um those qualities and then the other thing that's helped me personally is taking care of myself and like for me taking care of myself also actually means taking care of like others around me because i think um in that way you actually end up uh kind of taking care of yourself in the best way by you know serving others and and kind of taking care of your family of your loved ones and like people around you. you mentioned persistence and and i agree with that it's very important and it's kind of like you know let's check back in five years we're still gonna be around just bigger and stronger making sure that you have that like support group right or at least a, a one person who you can share um anything with and that kind of will will listen and you can <laughs> vent sometimes you need to vent as well um that's the super important uh, i'd say like a lot of the work of founder and leader essentially is working with your mindset 
right? And uh, making sure that you kind of um, come out stronger uh, on, the, on the other side of all the challenges that come your way. I think getting yourself like a group of people. And if, if you, if you can't find one, then reach out to me and we'll be starting that group soon. So uh, you can find me on Discord or LinkedIn or whatever you want um, and can become part of the Conscious Founders group.